Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes China's indebted local governments spend billions to bail out small banks. Western bias against China's Belt and Road is hobbling climate action. South Korean esports players secure military exemption after winning gold at Asian Games. China's September factory activity expands for first time in six months. China manufacturing activity expands for first time since March. China's indebted local governments spend billions to bail out small banks. South China Morning Post. Western bias against China's Belt and Road is hobbling climate action. South China Morning Post. China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, could play a pivotal role in addressing global challenges, particularly the environmental crisis, if the international community can collaborate. The BRI has evolved into an initiative driven by the Fourth Industrial Revolution, with sub-initiatives such as the Health Silk Road, Digital Silk Road, and Greener Belt and Road. However, divisions and geopolitical uncertainties have raised questions about China's commitment to the BRI. The article argues that the developing world needs increased infrastructure investment, and the BRI has the potential to accelerate the transition to a more sustainable model of economic growth. South Korean esports players secure military exemption after winning gold at Asian Games. ABC. South Korea's esports team has won the Asian Games, and its star player, Lee Faker Sang Hyok, will not have to perform military service as a result. South Korean law exempts athletes and musicians from military service if they have won top prizes in certain competitions and have enhanced national prestige. The exemption has been the subject of debate in South Korea, but the esports team's victory received no dissent. The team defeated Taiwan in the final, with Lee having been unable to play due to illness. The esports event has proved popular at the Asian Games, attracting a large audience and necessitating a lottery for tickets. China's September factory activity expands for first time in six months. Reuters. China's factory activity has expanded for the first time in six months, according to the official Purchasing Managers Index, PMI. The PMI rose to 50.2 in September from 49.7, beating expectations of 50.0. This adds to a series of indicators suggesting that the Chinese economy is stabilizing, despite concerns over the property sector debt crisis. However, analysts believe that more policy support will be needed in order for China to hit the government's annual growth target of about 5% this year. The Asian Development Bank recently trimmed its economic growth forecast for China to 4.9% from 5% due to the weakness in the property sector. China manufacturing activity expands for first time since March. Bloomberg. China's official manufacturing purchasing managers index, PMI, rose to 50.2 in September, marking the first expansion in six months. This beat economists' expectations and climbed above the 50 level that separates expansion from contraction. The non-manufacturing PMI, which measures activity in the services and construction sectors, also increased to 51.7 from 51 in August. These positive figures suggest that China's recent stimulus measures, including looser monetary policy and increased local government borrowing for infrastructure, are helping to support economic growth. However, economists remain cautious about the outlook for the Chinese economy and have revised down their GDP growth forecasts. President Xi Jinping has vowed to step up efforts to meet the country's economic targets, but no specific measures have been announced. How big winner Vietnam walks the US-China rivalry diplomatic tightrope. South China Morning Post. Vietnam is benefiting from increased trade with both the US and China amid the intensifying rivalry between the two superpowers. Prime Minister Pham Minh Chin recently visited both countries, seeking support for Vietnam's economy and trade. However, analysts warn that Vietnam risks being caught in the crossfire of US-China tensions and may eventually have to pick sides. Vietnam has managed to maintain good relations with both countries, but as the rivalry intensifies, it becomes increasingly difficult for Vietnam to balance its relations between the two powers. There is concern that Vietnam's efforts to strengthen ties with the US, including potential arms sales, could lead to tensions with China. Vietnam has become an attractive alternative base for investors looking to diversify away from China due to the mounting US-China tensions. The US is Vietnam's largest export market for textiles, footwear, and electronics, while China has increasingly seen Vietnam as an investment destination to avoid US tariffs. 
however, there are challenges for Vietnam in becoming an alternative to China, including weaknesses in infrastructure, logistics, supporting industries, and human resources. Vietnam's goal is to become a modern industrial country prioritizing semiconductors, electric vehicle production, and the green energy transition. Vietnam is currently trying to maintain a neutral foreign policy and strong ties with both the US and China. However, as the US-China rivalry intensifies, it will become increasingly difficult for Vietnam to balance between the two powers. There is concern that Vietnam's efforts to strengthen ties with the US, including potential arms sales, could lead to tensions with China. Vietnam will need to navigate carefully to avoid being dragged into a US-China conflict and to maintain its independence and strategic autonomy. Federal prosecutors press Trump gag order request as judge sets hearing for arguments. The Toronto Star. Federal prosecutors have requested a limited gag order on former President Donald Trump, claiming that he made incendiary and intimidating statements in the case charging him with scheming to overturn the 2020 election results. Prosecutors have cited Trump's critical comments about witnesses in the case, including former Attorney General William Barr, as well as a social media post in which he suggested that Mark Milley, the retiring chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, should be executed. Trump's lawyers have objected to the gag order request, and arguments are set for October 16. France can't start for Astros because of family emergency, Urquidy on mound versus D-backs. The Toronto Star. The Houston Astros had to make changes to their pitching staff due to unexpected circumstances. Right-hander J.P. France was unable to start Friday's game against the Arizona Diamondbacks due to a family emergency. It is unclear when he will be able to return to the team. France has been a strong contributor to the team this season with an 11-6 record and a 3.83 ERA. He was replaced by right-hander José Urquidy, who has a 2-3 record and a 5.84 ERA. Additionally, right-hander Ryan Stanek was placed on paternity leave, leading the Astros to call up righty Seth Martinez from AAA Sugar Land to take his place on the roster. Brazil's securities watchdog agrees to plea bargain on Americanas probe. Reuters. Brazil's securities watchdog, the CVM, has approved a plea bargain-like mechanism for cases related to bankrupt Brazilian retailer Americanas. The move is part of an ongoing billion-dollar financial fraud probe and will enable the CVM to reduce or erase punitive action in exchange for cooperation in the investigations. The agreement is also expected to speed up the investigations. Americanas was thrown into crisis earlier this year after disclosing more than BRL 20 BN, $4 billion, of accounting inconsistencies. France can't start for Astros because of family emergency, Urquidy on mound versus D-backs. Associated Press. Houston Astros right-hander J.P. France was scratched from his start against the Arizona Diamondbacks due to a family emergency. Manager Dusty Baker did not provide details on the situation but said it was uncertain if France would be able to rejoin the team over the weekend. France has a record of 11-6 with a 3.83 ERA this season. He was replaced by right-hander José Urquidy, who has a record of 2-3 with a 5.84 ERA. In addition, right-hander Ryan Stanek was placed on paternity leave, leaving the bullpen shorthanded. Righty Seth Martinez was called up from AAA Sugar Land to take Stanek's spot on the roster. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six from the Six Degrees World, bringing you the latest news from around the globe. Today, we discussed a variety of topics ranging from China's efforts to bail out small banks, the potential of China's Belt and Road Initiative in addressing global challenges, South Korean esports players securing military exemption, China's factory activity expanding for the first time in six months, Vietnam walking the US-China diplomatic tightrope, a gag order request on former President Donald Trump, changes in the Houston Astros pitching staff, and Brazil's securities watchdog approving. A plea bargain-like mechanism in an ongoing fraud probe. Let's dive into the analysis. China's local governments are stepping in to rescue small banks that have been struggling with poor governance and weak balance sheets. This move shows the government's commitment to stabilizing the financial sector and supporting rural economies. However, it also highlights the challenges faced by these small banks and the need for improved regulation and oversight. The Belt and Road Initiative has the potential to address global challenges, including the environmental crisis, but there are concerns about China's commitment and geopolitical uncertainties. Collaborative efforts from the international community are crucial to maximizing the benefits of this initiative and ensuring sustainable economic growth. South Korea's esports team's victory at the Asian Games has allowed its star player to avoid military service, sparking debate in the country. Esports has gained significant popularity and recognition, and this exemption highlights its growing significance in the sports world. 
China's factory activity expanding for the first time in six months is a positive sign for the country's economy, indicating stabilization despite concerns over the property sector debt crisis. However, analysts caution that more policy support may be needed for China to meet its growth targets. Vietnam finds itself in a delicate position as it seeks to maintain good relations with both the US and China amid their intensifying rivalry. The country's efforts to strengthen ties with the US could potentially strain its relationship with China, forcing Vietnam to navigate carefully to avoid being caught in the crossfire. Federal prosecutors' request for a gag order on former President Donald Trump highlights the contentious legal battle surrounding his alleged scheme to overturn the 2020 election results. The case continues to draw attention and raises questions about the boundaries of free speech and the influence of public figures. The Houston Astros faced unexpected challenges with their pitching staff due to family emergencies and paternity leave. These last-minute changes demonstrate the unpredictability of sports and the need for teams to adapt quickly. Brazil's securities watchdog's approval of a plea bargain-like mechanism in the Americanas probe is a significant development in the ongoing financial fraud investigation. This approach aims to speed up the investigations and potentially uncover more information about the accounting inconsistencies. That's all for today's news. I hope you found these stories informative and entertaining. Now it's time for you to join the discussion. What are your thoughts on China's efforts to bail out small banks? Do you see the Belt and Road Initiative as a potential solution to global challenges? And how do you think Vietnam should navigate the US-China rivalry? Share your ideas and questions, and let's continue the conversation. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the Six Degrees world. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief by email.